Bruno Fernandes is a Manchester United player. What a day to be alive. The 25-year-old has finally been unveiled as United's new signing. And given that we were quoted £50 million pounds for Sean Longstaff in the summer, the €55 million Euro upfront fee seems pretty damn reasonable to me for a player who could become an absolute game-changer for United. His position in Solskjaer's team is without question. It's going to be that number 10 role, that position where United have been starved of any real quality, that position that links the midfield to the attack. That is where Bruno Fernandes is going to slot in. And I cannot wait to see how good he can be in that role. Because Fernandes is a player who is capable of doing absolutely everything in that position. Goals, assists, free kicks, through balls, incisive one-touch football, high defensive work rate. Fernandez has the whole package of what you want in a number 10. And just look at his goal return in the last couple of years for Sporting Lisbon. Last season, 48 goals and assists in all competitions. And this season, 29 goals or assists in 28 appearances for Sporting Lisbon. An absolute phenomenal, phenomenal return for a player who is so highly coveted and with those numbers and with his reputation, you can see exactly why. And United have signed an absolute gem in Bruno Fernandes. But the reason Fernandes could be such a good signing for United isn't just the fact that he's going to bring goals and assists into a team which desperately needs more goal-scoring outlets. It's the character that he is as well. Because we all know that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is trying to implement a cultural rebuild at United which desperately needs it. And the characters aren't in the team at the moment. That's why so many players have been sold and the Glazers haven't given Solskjaer the full backing to make all the signings. But Bruno can be a key signing because this team needs leaders. And Bruno Fernandes is a leader. On the pitch, he was Sporting's captain. And he has a reputation for doing and giving absolutely everything from the first minute to the last minute. So you can see exactly why Solskjaer would want to sign him. And just take a look at this video from last year after Sporting Lisbon were in the cup final. And this is what their right back, Rostovsky, had to say about Bruno. I first thing, I have to do a favor to this guy to be in the next time because we're fucked. He's expulsed, bro! He's expulsed. Now, if you speak Portuguese, you would have understood there that he said, if you leave, we're fucked. That's how much of an inspiration and how much the players looked up to Bruno Fernandes. It didn't matter how good he was. He led by example on the pitch and that brought the level of the other players up around him. He was admired by the players that played alongside him. It's exciting to see how much of a positive influence he did have on those players. And United need those sorts of characters. But as much as we need leaders in this team and we need leaders, we also need fighters because far too often for the last few years, United have just limped to a defeat when we really shouldn't have because there's no players in that team to pick everybody else up by the scruff of their neck and fight for the game. And as this clip shows after Bruno Fernandes got sent off, I think it was against Boa Fista, he wasn't a happy bunny. O Sporting deu dois pontapés no pé da porta. E na sequência deste momento, há aqui uma troca de palavras com os funcionários. We need players like that, that have a bit of fire in their belly and that have a temper. And he certainly can do a little bit of shithousery as well. And we need all those in the team. If we're doing this cultural rebuild off the pitch, we need that cultural rebuild on the pitch as well. And United were always known for fighting to the last minute. It didn't matter if United were one or two down going into the last 15 minutes, you knew that United could do something. We've lost that. Bruno Fernandes can help bring that back into the team. And one thing I really want us all to remember, whilst being excited about Bruno coming to United, we have to remember how big a move this is for him. Huge move to leave Sporting Lisbon, to leave a club that means so much to him. And as you can see from his goodbye message that he released, the club really does hold a special place in his heart. E, obviamente, bom, uh, bom, vai ficar marcado para sempre. Uh, adeptos, 
pessoas trabalharam comigo, tudo, tudo, os jogadores, tudo. We all need to have patience with Bruno Fernandes. He could come in and hit the ground running straight away. But moving from Portugal and Sporting Lisbon to Manchester and United is a huge move. When Bruno moved to Italy when he was just 17 for five years, he struggled. He was massively homesick and his girlfriend had to move over there at the time to help him. He's still with that girlfriend now. This is a major move for Bruno and a huge step up for him. But he was the centre of attention, the man who every fan, who every player at Sporting Lisbon looked towards when they needed some inspiration. And he delivered every, not every single time, but enough to earn him such a wonderful reputation, enough to get 48 goals and assists last year and to be doing the same sort of thing this year. United have signed an absolute gem and somebody for me who looks like he has the temperament that we need, somebody who can be a leader in a team which desperately lacks it, somebody who can bring all the goals and assists that we need from the number 10 role and can really help Solskjaer continue this cultural rebuild. It may not work out with Bruno, just the same with any other player, but he's got a set of characteristics that I can see that a lot of United's signings and big money signings haven't had in the last few years. And I'm very excited to see what he can do in a United shirt. Now, as we all know, Friday is transfer deadline day. And you may have seen on Twitter that I am taking part in Deadline Day Live, sponsored by Snickers over on the Ball Street channel. There'll be a link in the description. It starts at 7.30 p.m. on Friday night. I'll be on there answering questions about the transfer window so far. Bruno Fernandes, how United have got on in January, and maybe even if we are chasing a striker that day, what's going on? So make sure you follow that link in the description. Come over to the Ball Street channel and join in on the Deadline Day Live there, sponsored by Snickers. I'm looking forward to it and hopefully we can get a signing of a striker on Deadline Day to match Bruno Fernandes. But Bruno is the one that is in the bag. Bruno is a United player. Welcome to United, Bruno. Fans will take you under their wing and I hope you can settle in Manchester I hope you enjoy playing for United and if you can give us the same sort of, uh, just everything that you gave for Sporting Lisbon, bring that to United, you're going to be a hell of a signing. So welcome to United.